So let's quickly recap what you want to do. You want to basically provide each of these layers here with a different color. That means the vertical faces and that horizontal like top face. But you also want that top face to have a different color than the vertical faces. And with the method that you've chosen here, where you basically end up with one complete solid body, uh, that would be very difficult to do because as you figured out, you basically would have to select each individual face, then assign a material or an, or an appearance. And that would be very tedious. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply delete these steps here. Let me do that again. And the shell operation isn't needed either. And that appears to take a while. I want to delete that feature. All right, so <clears throat> that of course leaves you still with a solid, but it's not shelled anymore. That's not necessary. So. Um, so what I did to make this, or what I would do to make this a little bit easier, the first body is basically just your, you know, the, the flat surface here. So right click, select new group, and call that level 1, or actually level 0, and then we move that body into there. We can move the body in there, I complained about that already on the forum, the only way I can do it is I can move to group and then select that group and move it in there. But dragging only works when you're at the end of the timeline. So let's move forward to the next extrusion. That's already your first level. And again, I'm going to create a new group and call that level one. And I'm going to simply I'm going to hide level zero, right click on it, edit the feature, and that takes a while because that sketch is very complex. So here it is, and what you've done in that sketch already, it includes that circle that uh, includes everything that you want to have extruded. So I hold the command key and unselect everything that I don't want to be included in that extrusion. All right, that looks okay. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from the join to new body option, click okay. And that provides me with a number of bodies. I'm going to take those bodies and also move those into the level one group. Okay, and then I'm going to just forward this one more time, edit that feature. And I'll do the same thing here, hold down the command key, unselect everything that I do not want extruded, and change it from join to new body. Okay, that gives me a bunch of bodies here. And I can uh, select create a new group and then move those bodies into that group. Okay, so now we have three groups and if we continue this, we'll end up with multiple levels. 
and uh, now you can actually hide that group with the level 2 bodies and unfortunately as I figured out when you want to apply an appearance let's say we just take plastic here you can actually not apply an appearance to that entire folder because it also applies that same appearance to all bodies in this in the, in this top level component uh, which is not what you want to do you really only want to apply that to those two individual bodies here in that in that folder so i also complained about that on the forum that's just the shabby implementation of that folder feature um, but what you can do is actually i need to undo this what you can do is you can still just apply that to the complete body that's in that folder. That's a bit more tedious because there will be some uh, folders in here when you're done that have 10 or 11 bodies in there, but altogether it's not, it's not bad. And what you can then do, you can change this here, apply from apply bodies components, that's the default, you change that to faces, and then you can apply another color just to the top face. And if you do that often enough, then uh, that's all you need to do. It's a little bit of work, but it's not complicated to do. And it's a lot less work than having to select every single individual face here and assign a color to that. So hopefully that, that helps you.